You know ChatGPT, yes, right? Sir. Did you know you could build yes, your yes, custom yes. version of ChatGPT on top of your own data? Check out how easy this is. Choo -choo! Boop. That's it. That's all I gotta do. I can talk with it now. Them bills. In fact, a link below, give it a try. This bot has the text of three recently proposed tax bills and it works. <laughs> Examples of great things people have been asking. What are the gist of these bills? What's in the bill about R&D expense? And it turns out there are a ton of useful applications for this text. So strap in four ways to use a custom chat bot in your accounting firm. First, Chatting with big stuff. You probably haven't read the full text of these new proposed tax bills. You probably haven't read the full text of your car's owner's manual. Well, if you can get your hands on the full text, you can build it into a bot. Like it's literally that easy what I just showed you. Now the app I've shown you here is called Chat Thing. I'll put a link to it in the video description. It lets you pull in data from like tons of sources. File uploads, Notion, websites like a public URL, YouTube, you just give it the link to the video, an RSS feed, and then you can chat with it on the web or you can even connect it to like Slack, Discord, Telegram, WhatsApp. How cool is that? So the next time you've got some big old long thing you don't wanna read it all, chuck it in here and start asking questions. Next, chat with your content. Now a really interesting client facing use case is to bolt this chat bot to your blog posts, your videos, your podcasts. I know I keep saying it's easy. Look at how easy this is. I'm gonna grab a couple of my podcasts about AI agents, and I'm gonna check the URL for those videos into here. Now, this could be just straight text, could be a transcription. So whatever format your info lives in today, you can go out and grab the underlying source material, plug it in to a chat bot. Okay, we got two videos in here. I'm gonna save the changes. Now I've got an agent that I can chat with just about that underlying context that I gave it. So, how do AI agents impact accounts? They can have a significant impact on accounts in several ways. Automation of tasks, improved productivity, better decision making, modernizing old tools. I talked about tax software. And if you think about any content you've produced in your firm, this is a fun way you could enable access to that content. Now, I know what you are thinking. Hold on just one minute, buddy. What if it hallucinates? I can't have Jason GPT spewing nonsense to my clients. Well, here's the thing. In our chat GPT videos, we talked about how much better GPT-4 is than GPT-3.5 and arguably the most significant step they made with GPT-4 is now when prompted correctly, it will stick to a certain body of context and not fall back to its general knowledge. When you go out today and talk with chat GPT, it's just telling you what it knows from its general knowledge. But when you give it a set of context and say only use this context to answer the question, GPT-4 will now stick to the context. And if you ask it how to make ice cream, it'll tell you it doesn't know. If you pick up a chat app like this, pay close attention to which model it's using. Chat thing right now, it's 50 bucks a month. You can set up like up to six bots, but importantly, it's using GPT-4. 3.5 in my experience won't reliably stick to context, which is important here. Now, some of these apps will even point back to the source material. So ultimately it is built on top of content that you already have online. You're not really putting out anything new. It's drawing on the stuff that you've already said already published. Now, as with any content you post online, it's worth having a disclaimer that this isn't a replacement for professional advice, but ultimately the bot's simply regurgitating the stuff that you've already got out there. Now, two other applications I am super excited about, one that makes running a team easier and one that'll bank you some new clients. But first, can we talk about how much your client portal sucks? Start the music. How would you like it if you had a portal your clients were excited to use? <laughs> Good one, right? What if you could customize every single item in the portal? The options that the client sees on the left-hand side? What if you could embed whatever you wanted into those pages? What if, I don't know, you could customize which of your clients saw what? Could be different client by client or by client group. Literally customize what they see down to the client level if you wanted. That sounds too Oh my gosh, just tell me. What is he talking about? It's Copilot. You can do all that stuff with Copilot. And they're doing it with over 100 accounting firms now, just like yours, messaging, billing, files, forms, and notably, whatever other shenanigans you wanna get up to, you can embed it right in there. It isn't a portal that's gonna tell you how to work with your clients. It's a platform that lets you design your own client portal. Wild, right? Check out the link in the video description to learn more about 
Copilot. Okay, next, a chatbot to make supporting your team easier. Chat with your internal docs. You know how hard it is to centralize all of your internal company information, employee manuals, policies, internal SOPs. And if you've got all that parked in a file system, it is really hard to find fiddly information. Somebody wants to know, I don't know, how does PTO accrual work for holiday hours? They're gonna dig into the employee manual first probably, uh, not find it, only to learn that a couple years ago, Craig said in a meeting that you don't accrue PTO on holiday hours. And this is where an internal bot can actually surface information in a much more helpful way. Connect it to all of your internal docs so you can ask specific, very targeted questions. Even pull in context from like meetings transcripts. So that meeting with Craig, or you have an all hands meeting or something like that about company policy, pull the transcript into the context for the bot. And you can even build on that further. Like if there's any gaps in the knowledge of the bot, customize the context underneath it to your heart's content. Write up a little one pager, add a note to it so that it now knows that additional detail. Now, in a perfect world, you would set that up, connect it to like Microsoft Teams or Slack or Discord or something like that where your team already works. They literally just have to type a, type a wee message to that bot to get an answer back or to at least get a response that's like, mm, I don't see it anywhere. That is so much better. And if you're feeling extra fancy, set this up for your clients, charge them a fixed monthly fee for it. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Okay, last, chat with domain expertise. Is there a specific type of client you want to go after, like a niche you're trying to build? What are some of the technical challenges that those people face? Let's say you work with, I don't know, craft brewery clients and the accounting around inventory and that whole pipeline is tricky or web three companies, bless your heart, people with digital assets and the accounting for that stuff is a nightmare. You can create a resource that their team can then leverage. A bot they can chat with when they encounter like common headaches and how they run their business or manage their accounting. Create a bot that's a resource for them because who else will? Like ultimately who's more qualified to do that? You can customize all the context under that. Cover the most common 20 questions you get, the stuff that you see people getting wrong. Keep like investing in it over time, man, that thing becomes an asset. And you want a rad way to differentiate your accounting firm right now? Man, that is pretty darn cool. On my daily pod the other day, we did a challenge episode where we had ChatGPT generate like a few very specific niches and we brainstormed how to create a support chat bot for each of them. The kind of stuff that's gonna drive a bunch of great like client acquisition within a specific space. It was spicy. It might be the video that's right over there. I don't know. Check it out. Oh, that's the edge. Look at that. Wait, what? I'm just gonna click on. Here we go. Wow. 